It's the end of an era in Cambodia, kind of. Pictured here Sunday voting in the last elections, Prime Minister Hun Sen went on state television on Wednesday to announce that he would be handing over power in three weeks' time to his eldest son, General Hun Manet. I now say to you that Hun Manet will become the Prime Minister from the evening of August 22, 2023. Then you will call him Prime Minister, or you could be outlawed if you don't. I will become President of the Senate, acting as Head of State in the absence of the King. A succession that's long been in the works. Having governed Cambodia with an iron fist since 1985, Hun Sen will hang on to considerable power, number two only to the King of Cambodia. Observers say his son, while nominally Prime Minister, will have little room for manoeuvre. The handover comes in the wake of last Sunday's elections. Hun Sen's party won 82 per cent of the vote and almost all the parliamentary seats. Any meaningful opposition being either exiled or jailed and against a backdrop of intimidation condemned by the United Nations. Opposition political parties, activists, members of the media and others have faced numerous restrictions and reprisals that appear to intend to curb political campaigning and to hinder the exercise of fundamental freedoms essential for free elections. Hun Sen's rule has also been marked by endemic graft. Cambodia ranks 150th out of 180 in Transparency International's Corruption Perception Index.